trying to describe this taste. It's not just that it's spicy. It's just like bitter. It almost tastes like like what's left in a deep fryer and just kind of sits in there and feels. Catfish out of water. Today we are doing another Hot Ones Heatness subscription opening. If you haven't seen the show, Hot Ones does increasingly hotter wings where they ask celebrities questions and you know the point is you end up answering more honestly or more amusingly the more hot sauce you end up eating. So they do this thing where every month you can get three new hot sauces. And this isn't sponsored. I get three of them every month and it's a lot of fun. I don't know what they are ahead of time. So this is November's box. I didn't open it right away as it is a Christmas season. But uh, this is less than a month old. I think I'm only like two weeks late opening this. I don't have any wings. I don't eat meat and I've tried making vegan wings and it's like, oh God, that is a nightmare. I don't know how they make those but they are god awful. <laughs> so if you have any good recipes for wings, maybe I'll stop uh, just putting these on a spoon and licking it. Um, but for now, that's what I'm doing because wings are terrible. And the next best thing is not putting them on anything and just figuring out what they taste like. Because I think the things that you eat them with make such a difference on how much you taste. Like I put a lot of things on burritos and depending on the flavor profile of the burrito, I have to change the hot sauce. And I've got like 30 or 40 of these hot sauces. <laughs> so instead of just like, oh, I don't know if it'll work on this, let me just pour every single hot sauce on. It's like, all right, I just need to taste them for what they are, get a sense, and then remember that to figure out what food to put it on. <laughs> Last month there was a Vermont maple syrup one, and I tasted it and I'm like, this is too sweet, this is terrible. I don't know how I'm gonna eat this. And then I was like, so I got this cranberry sauce with honey instead of sugar in it. And I have been racking my brain trying to find a hot sauce that works with this. Cause I've been putting it with like lentils in my burrito. So I've got my nutmeg lentils with mashed potatoes and cranberry sauce wrapped up in a burrito shell. And I'm like, what am I gonna put hot sauce wise on this? And this maple, Vermont maple syrup just goes excellent with it. And it's my new favorite hot sauce for all of my holiday leftovers. And I never would have bought it. I never would have bought it. It's fantastic. I didn't even like it when I tried it. I was like, it's not as bad as I thought it would be, but it's not great. This is how you do it. Thanksgiving leftovers. I think it'll work for Christmas too. It's gonna be my new holiday hot sauce. I'll probably never have it any other time of the year, but I'm so glad I have it now. So let's see if we can find some gems out of this box. So let's open the box. One of these bottles is rattling around in here. It is not in position anymore. Um, oop. Oh, it's honey. Oh, there's gonna be another sweet one. And I've got my honey cranberry sauce. Maybe this will go with holiday stuff. They always do one of these stickers. They also do this little thing where they do a little cartoon. Oh, of course, it's Pooh Bear. <laughs> Sean Evans is Pooh Bear. Oh, and the camera guy, Bill, go in search of hot honey in 100 acre woods. So that's fun. I don't know how well you can see that. That's cute. <laughs> and then they'll do this little like, briefing of all the hot sauces on the back, which is nice. This little guy is rattling around. That is what I'm hearing. <laughs> it's the, oh, what is it? Nugget Honey. Hot Ones First We Feast presents Nugget Honey. Sounds awful, but we'll give it a try. Um, what else we have? Oh my gosh, we've got another da bomb. Da Bomb is notoriously the worst hot sauce in the lineup. It's number eight. I have it. It's in my fridge right now. I never eat it. 
but it's not nearly as bad as everyone makes it out to be. Everyone tries it and they're like, this is literal garbage. Like, how is anyone consuming this? Like, it's not just spicy, it tastes like trash. And I think that's a little harsh. I don't think it's nearly that bad. It's just, when you compare it to all the other flavors, it's not the best. I wouldn't necessarily call it the worst. There are hot sauces I would not eat before that, but it's not great. So, it'll be interesting to see what this is. It's gotta be hotter. It's gotta be hotter. It's probably the hottest one in this lineup. So that's gonna be fun. And then what is this? Chipotle Express Pucker Butt Pepper Company. Pure all natural heat. All right. That looks very hot as well, but Chipotle's not that hot. So maybe it's just because there are a lot of peppers on it and it's red, especially compared to these other ones. Usually there's kind of a mild one, there's a medium one, and there's a hot one. The bomb is definitely going to be the hot one. I think the honey one is going to be the mild one, and this Chipotle is going to be somewhere in the middle. But I don't know where I want to start. Well, let's get hotter as we go. Let's start. Oh, God looks like syrup. Look at this. Look at this. You see that bubble? You see that bubble? You see that bubble? Like, it hasn't reached the top yet. This is pure honey. Look at this. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. And... There we go. This is pure honey. I do not know what to expect out of this. All right, all right, let's get this one. Hot Ones Nugget Honey. Hot Ones Sweetest Drop Yet. I would believe that. This looks like pure honey. It looks terrible. There's even like, it's crystallizing at the top like those nice honeys do. Oh, I don't like honey this much. Honey infused with Pepper X. Hot Ones Sweetest Drop Yet. Nugget Honey is made using a unique method of infusion we've never before tried in a sauce to start with. We take Bar Hill Craft Gin. Oh god, I hate gin too. Gin from Vermont and infuse it with Smokin' Ed's Pepper X. Once the gin has soaked up all of the pepper's famous heat and earthly flavors, we blend it into pure alfalfa honey from the Wind River Valley of Montana. The result is a bit of golden magic, spicy when you taste it from a spoon, but more gently warming when applied to fried chicken. Cheese has pizza with an exclamation mark in parentheses. In cocktails or even drizzled over your favorite ice cream. Oh god, no. Okay. Get creative. That certainly is. Get creative and be sure to share your discoveries. Oh no. Oh no. I am not thrilled about that. Let's just... God, is there any point in me shaking this up? It hasn't separated. Well, Izzy, Izzy, is that fun? Assuming it's got a safety cap, though. And that I do not want you to have, because you do not need hot sauce safety cap. Ugh. Oh, I don't like honey. I don't like honey. Oops. It's not that I don't like honey. I just... When it comes to sweet or spicy, I want spicy every single time. I don't really like that taste of sugar. Not that I won't eat chocolate or ice cream sometimes, but I am not pouring this on it! <laughs> Alright, let's get this over with. I'm not thrilled. And then the, the bomb is next. This is not going to be a good day. <laughs> oh, no, I thought that about last week. I thought last month was going to be bad. Um, but this might take the cake. No, last month wasn't that bad. It wasn't. It wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was. I actually enjoyed it more. This, on the other hand, this is not hot sauce. This is hot. Mmm. It won't come off the spoon. This isn't even really spicy. Ah, there's a little afterkick. There's a little afterburn. I 
I do not like this. I do not. Let's just go straight into this one because it's it's spicy, honey. I think we can all imagine what that tastes like, and it's not good. I don't like it. It's not that spicy. There's a little bit of afterkick, but then you still have honey stuck to your mouth. So it immediately just gets diffused again. I call that like a two. It's probably in like the two spot out of ten. Because the first spot is just like drinking sugar. It's probably a two. Just a little spice. You can taste some spice. It's not good. If you like honey, it might be great. All right, Ezzy, she's biting the cap on this. Let's break into this. The bomb evolution. What do we have here? I know I'm going to hate this too. But it can't be nearly as bad as that honey one. Hot ones will use sauces that Heatness won't sell because Heatness only sells all natural sauces. So the bomb, you can't get there. And if you try to search it, a little page will pop up and tell you why they don't do it. And it makes sense. Like, oh, it's bedazz. That's the computer. It makes sense why they would do that. I'll give her the cap. And I like that in a company. Uh, it's very rare that you don't get a huge price markup. And these are a little bit, do you want the cat? At Heatness, we only carry all natural sauces, which for us meant saying no to the bomb beyond and Sandy, one of the Hot Ones crowd favorites. For years, we've been asked, where's the bomb? Well, the time has come for this hollowed and reviled mark to grace the Heatness shelves. Introducing the bomb evolution. This all natural take on the original packs, the heat, but with a lot more flavor, while still hot enough to light your brother-in-law's eyebrows aflame at Thanksgiving, this sauce is good for more than just pranks. Try it as a marinade for some seriously hot chicken or turkey, or as dipping sauce for some devilish egg rolls. Alright, it sounds like they're making this out to be a holiday one. There doesn't appear to be anything holiday about it. It appears to just be the recipe but natural yeah we've got red hot chili peppers water vinegar salt spices including paprika and turmeric minced garlic cane sugar garlic powder extra virgin olive oil onion powder lemon juice concentrate cilantro and mint i'm allergic to both cilantro and mint so this should be fun i'm not deathly allergic i'm not gonna die i'm gonna have you know a dollop of this so i'm gonna be okay but i'm not going to like it all right well let's get into this i don't think i read the ingredients for the honey one but i think we can tell what's in that it's honey and pepper x oh it's even got try it with ice cream i uh, no and no one's putting this on pizza what kind of pizza are you eating pizza is not that sweet pizza is savory you can start to put pineapple on it which i believe is a mistake uh, pear is pretty good, though. If you want something sweet, put pear on pizza. Especially with blue cheese and walnuts. It's delicious. But I lost everyone when I said that. Heat level 4 out of 10. This is, this is a 2. This is a 4. But if that's what you're calling it. Oh, Jesus. American alfalfa honey, bar hill gin, and pepper X. Three ingredients. Although I do appreciate that. I like a lot that there's only three ingredients in this. If it wasn't honey and gin for the other two, I would be very thrilled about this. Yeah, this is gross. This is gross. All right, I'm procrastinating on this one. This one's gonna hurt, but we need to get into this. It actually smells pretty good. I haven't tasted the bomb in probably six months. I've honestly forgotten what it tastes like. I'm probably going to go grab it in a second, and I'm going to compare. This smells fine. Oh, it's thick. It's a thick one. That's probably too much. But, all right. pretty orange. I don't remember it being this orange, but again, it's been a while since I've tasted it, so we'll see. I'm gonna regret this in a second. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's bad. Yeah, it's bad. I'm 
trying to describe this taste. It's not just that it's spicy. It's just like bitter. It almost tastes like like what's left in a deep fryer and just kind of sits in there and congeals. If you've never worked in food service, you don't know what that smell is. I mean, it smells fine, but this tastes like all that shit that's left over in your deep fryer for like a week without cleaning it. Oh, it's real bad. It's real bad. Okay, that's bad. Let me grab, let me grab the other one. I'm going to compare the ingredient list on this. Ooh. So this is the other DeBomb. It's like we literally like 12 seconds. I didn't get any water. I didn't do anything. I'm still red. It's hitting my stomach and it hurts. All right. But this is DeBomb Insanity. It does come in a much smaller bottle. Well, there's only an ounce difference. It's four ounces. It's five ounces. So it's really not that big a difference. But they normally don't come with this long neck like the heatness bottles do. Let's check out. Oh, it is different. They're not the same. This is habanero peppers, chipotle puree, water, orange juice, concentrate, natural pepper flavoring, tomato paste, potassium sorbate, and sodium benzoate to preserve freshness. That's gonna be the preserver. That's why they can't sell this. No, these are totally different. They're in a different color. You can see that. It's a completely different recipe. I'm not gonna taste this for you. That is for an entirely other video. I will smell it. Because they're definitely different. This is a lot more tomato in it. I don't think this had tomato in it at all. No. And this has got the cilantro mint this one doesn't have. They're completely different. They still have this, like, it smells a lot better. But they still have this kind of, like, it's not supposed to taste good undertone. I mean, look at these. The bomb. This isn't supposed to taste good. It's supposed to destroy your insides. And it will. Yeah, this is gross. This is terrible. Whew. Makes you want to go back to the honey one. But... Ugh. <laughs> Alright. Let's do this one. Pucker, Pucker Butt Pepper Company Chipotle Express. Rounding out our season 13 lineup is the smoke show from the man himself, Smokin' Ed Curie. Our first number nine sauce made with Pepper X, Chipotle Express bolsters the earthy state of Pepper X. With smoky chipotle peppers, luxurious honey. Why is there so much honey in this? And a pop of lemon for brightness. With its slow building whole body burn, the effect is intensely warming. When it's made by smoke and end, you know it's a scorcher perfect for heating up stews, briskets, and other winter favorites as the weather grows cold. I think I've recovered from the bomb. Let's... Let's crack into this. This is made by Ed Curie, who um, grows all the peppers. He's perpetually growing the new hottest pepper in the world. So if they're calling this number 9 out of 10 on Hot Ones, this heat index must be added like 5 instead of 10. Because, yeah, yeah, you can see that. 1, 2, 3, 4, and the 5th one isn't... Um, filled in. So yeah, this is going to be hot. We're going to go from hot to hot. Alright, let's shake this up. Oh, this is very liquidy. This is, this is liquid. Okay. It smells spicy. This is gonna be spicy. It's gonna be spicy! I need to eat before I do these. 
There are chunks in it too. You can see the peppers floating in it. All right, cap back on. Spoon, it is just, I don't even, I can't turn this. Like, it's just liquid. Let's do this though. It's very citrusy. So it's not bad. Um, it's very bitter though. It's very bitter. It's very citrusy. I can kind of taste the honey a little bit. It's, it's not great. It's not great. It's okay. I can see like the holiday flavor a little bit with the honey. Overall, just, it's a weird box. It's a weird box. I don't really like this box. Happy holidays. Whatever you do or do not celebrate, get some hot sauce for it. If um, you don't like my palette and think any of these are worth getting, I usually don't hate them all. Yeah, no, yeah. starting to sweat. That one is hot. Starting to sweat. Pretty hungry. Definitely need to eat before I do these. All right, well, I will see you next time, and uh, thanks for watching my channel. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you so choose. Tell me if, what you'd like me to try next. I love doing these unboxings. Sometimes they're a lot of fun. Not really today. It's still burning. Like, I'm still dying. I believe that is it. Oh, uh, check out my website, catfishoutofwater.com. You, next time. you kind of get all these notifications like your order is confirmed, your shipment has sent, my train of thought.